It's the other people's show They gotta do the mic test, don't you know? <laughs> it's the other people's show They'll tell you things you wish you didn't know It's the other people's show When you listen to it, you'll think you've done some blow <laughs> <laughs> It's the other people show Have so much fun It'll go so fast It'll never go so other Recorded at 8 and I'll see you at the gate So don't be late Now we did tongue twisters on the old show, didn't we? Sometimes Sometimes the skunk sat on a stump and thump The stump <laughs> stunk That was the hardest one <laughs> for everyone but the, oh, but the stump thunk The skunk <laughs> Stunk. Yeah, you can't even you can't even read it. <laughs> and I talk for a living. <laughs> I don't know how. I, you know what? I feel like I've got a lot of people fooled because I'm like, how do people let me talk in front of classrooms and uh, in broadcast, oh, wow, broadcast and on podcasts and radio shows? I've got a lot of people fooled. But did you like the the uh, the little teaser clip I made with you saying that you talked in a class? <laughs> It's about a speech or something. Yes. I, you're like, I'm Yeah, I got a. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. I still need to make one featuring Jeremiah on there. Oh, yeah. man. I don't know how people let me teach. <laughs> but yeah. Got we, them all fooled. We definitely want to bring back. Uh, we're approaching the two hour mark. It goes so quickly. I with, know. I know that if, I, would, I would really love, and I would even move to Lynchburg, <laughs> but I know you don't want to stay there much yes, longer. I love Lynchburg. Do you, do you love Lynchburg? I love Lynchburg. Facebook live okay so he loves lynchburg <laughs> but i would do i would do uh i would move there to do a show i would drive if, if jake had a show there i would and I, and I still lived here i would drive to do the show don't tempt me <laughs> if you if you somehow segue to a show i'll drive i'm there. telling you alex keeps like she's uh, she is rare enough to kick me in the butt as hard as i possibly can to get me to do something because i've i've been having this idea now it would be a little different i'd be totally cool doing two shows yeah. One of them I really want to do a variety show. Remember we talked the, about last the, time? Yeah, the mm -hmm. stage show? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really want to do that. I really want to do that. Uh, but I, then I would love to do that like once uh, every two weeks or once a month. Yeah. And then do like a, a morning show or something. I would definitely be up for that. And then I'm telling you, I got to. I, I, totally I did apply for a morning show near Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Ooh. I haven't heard back from anything. And I also applied for uh, Myrtle Beach when I was nice. down there a show. Well, you got. What did you get from like North Dakota? Yes. <laughs> or uh, yeah, I had. I'll call in. From North Dakota. I didn't realize that I had uh, applied for a place in North Dakota, but they asked me for audio samples and such. Where in North Dakota? Uh, Sioux Falls. It does. It doesn't matter. It's, oh, it's North Sioux. Dakota. Or is it South Dakota? South Dakota. Okay, whatever Sioux Falls. But it was because I looked up Sioux Falls and I was like, well, let me look at the weather. Mm. Because that's the weather is a big. Like I, I would, I would go to a bigger place if, like, I want it to be a warm climate. But yeah. if I had, if like, yeah. I only had my show and it was at a cold climate, but I had my show, I would winter the storm yeah, no for problem. that. But I would prefer it to be a warmer climate. I went to Sioux Falls when I did my driving trip to Minnesota a few years ago. I went to Sioux Falls. I'm gonna get serious here for a minute. Okay. And I had one of the most. <laughs> calming nights I've ever had in my entire life. I stayed there and I went down to the falls area because there's like a big park right in the middle of the city. The city's decent size. Right. It's really cool. Like I love it's landscapes. like 300,000 people or so? Mm, maybe. I, I looked it up but I can't recall the exact. Maybe. maybe. But they had a semi-pro baseball team there. Um, so I went over and watched them play. I walked. Did everything. Walk. I, I was staying downtown. And so I walked to the to the actual falls inside the city. It's like right in the middle. It's a really cool little park. Then I walked like over the hill. And I remember that night I was walking back. And it was one of those moments where it was just so quiet. Yeah. <laughs> and you're walking through like these little – it's more of like – it's not like a city. It's like a bunch of – it's like a big neighborhood, mm -hmm. a giant okay. neighborhood. And I'm walking through. they don't have through. super tall skyscrapers no, and such, do no. they? The pictures it's that I looked up. a lot of houses and stuff. And I'm walking – you had to kind of go up over this big hill and then back down. And that's where I was staying. And it was the middle of the night. And it was cool, and there was like no, like zero, almost no humidity, and it was like quiet. And you're like walking by these people's houses in the middle of the night, 
and they were just out like sitting on their front porches and they're just like they're all nice to you and like you know sometimes you walk through a city and you're like yeah i'm gonna get shot yeah right and then when you're at night you're like yeah i don't know what's gonna happen yeah. to me it's probably gonna be worse than getting shot right but you i walked through there and i was kind of like i don't and there was a full moon and a full moon in the midwest is like amazing yeah and it was just like it was one of those moments where it was like i could walk for like 10 hours and be totally fine because it's yeah. just so peaceful <laughs> so i'll say this sioux falls I love Sioux Falls. Wow. <laughs> and I was only there for less than 24 hours. But I was like, I don't know what it is about this city, but I could live here in five minutes. So if I got the show there, I should take it. I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> but I'm just saying there's worse places in the world. It's like a small community, but big. It's like a, it's like being in a s- small-ish town. Yeah. Except there's like, you know, 200 and some thousand, right. 300,000 people in that little small town right. with you. But they're all like small town people, right? And it was like really, I was like, this and you really is never cool. hear anything bad about South Dakota, oh, no. or North of Dakota. Only bad thing about South Dakota is you get like a wolf eats your leg oh, or something, a coyote like that. or a wolf. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Well, like, see, I thought about my friend Shelly. She's she's taking a trip across the country because she's going to stay in Oregon for a month. Mm-hmm. So I told her if she doesn't fly back, let me know, and I'll drive there and pick her you know, up. Yeah, and make a trip Man. to go to places I haven't been. And I'll film it the whole way. That'd be so you know, I'll film, you know. Snapchat that too. Snapchat that. <laughs> that that's the thing. It's like I'm I'm telling you, that trip was one of the best trips I've ever taken. You went solo, right? Yeah, just wrote, I did not see someone I knew until the very last day. I drove through. And my brother-in-law's parents lived in Southern Illinois, practically Kentucky. Right. And I drove through and went to Cracker Barrel with them for an hour, and then I kept going the rest of the way. But it, um, it was just amazing. I went to Chicago. Was Chicago the first night? Was Chicago? Was that peaceful or not? Yeah. In Chicago, <laughs> I stayed outside of Chicago, okay. but I love Chicago. <laughs> Chicago, if you stay in the like certain areas, then it's you're fine. Great. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much from downtown up to where like Second City is, you're great. Anywhere else, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. But then I went to so I went to Sioux Falls. I went to um, I was no uh, Des Moines. Saw Dave Matthews in Des Moines. Really? <laughs> went to Minnesota, to uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis. And then I went to was, uh, was Madison, Wisconsin. And I stayed somewhere else, and I can't remember where it was. Maybe that was so you went a lot of northern. Yeah, I kind of went. I went this way, and then I circled back around, and then I went straight down and ended <laughs> up in Chattanooga. Okay. Because I, I, all right, so I went to see Garrison Keeler. As soon as that show was over on July 4th, I drove four hours to Madison, Wisconsin, got there about midnight, slept for about six hours, got in the car, and drove 12 hours. And when you're driving, what keeps you occupied? Do you just listen to music? Do you listen to shows? From, Do you uh, think of ideas about I listen, shows? I listen to a lot of shows. I don't listen to music that much because if you listen to three to five minute songs mm. and you're going for 11 hours, yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. So I listen to a lot of podcasts. Uh, this American Life has been something I've got into. Um, Prairie Home Companion, listen to a lot, but I listened to the um, that book about Saturday Night Live, mm-hmm. which is an eleven hour book. I listened to that from Lynchburg to Chicago. Oh wow! So, which is kind of nice because you could kind of tell where you were based off of the book. <laughs> and so, once the book was over, I pretty much pulled into Qdoba. I stayed in Indiana, but it was like. Is near Gary. Qdoba. Yeah. I haven't heard of Qdoba in quite a while. Oh, and then I I'm rolled not... into a Qdoba and got my got my burrito. <laughs> big burrito. I, oh, I love burrito. A Qdoba. Qdoba is good. I go to Chipotle a lot, but I still love. Qdoba is better, I think. Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> I've not had Qdoba in several years. Oh, I can't remember the last time you went off again. Ah. But. <laughs> that was playing. And there's me. <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. That's very odd. It doesn't like Maybe it hits a time limit. Maybe. Cause we, I mean, we got an hour on that one as well. Yeah, I bet yeah. it is. So. What time is it? 7.12. 7.12. Okay. Well, I'll, go, I'll go live again and we can end the, yeah. end the show. My uh, Pizza King is uh, going to come in and mess in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got uh, sausage and pepperoni. I had pizza earlier today. Before, it's so uh, good. The bad thing is I've had pizza for three straight days. Ooh. <laughs> but it's Pizza King. Like, I can't, I don't get that anywhere else. <laughs> That's true, too. I can't, like, when I go to Lexington, I go to um, this place called Pazzo's mm-hmm. that has, like, a giant slice. 
Oh yeah. Um, I either go there or there's a a like a Cajun place. No. And I go to one of those two places because I'm like, I can't get anywhere else. <laughs> now, what were you saying a moment ago? You said uh, uh, you said your wife was getting on to you about not starting something. Yeah, about like not chasing these ideas down, chasing these dreams. Now, you had mentioned to me in a, a tweet a while back that, 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 that she knew somebody that could segue into something. She, uh, yep. <laughs> Which is another reason why she's kicking me in the butt and saying, "Okay, go." Yeah. <laughs> but you would know, it would it be so. segueing into like a radio? Yeah. Oh yeah. Why don't you do that? I so if you, mean. I'll be there. It's a I'll... huge change, and I don't know. Change is scary. It is really yeah. hard, and being okay. I, I'm gonna throw this term around very loosely, <laughs> but being—I'll 